Hi class, so today the um, book I chose to uh, do a report over is A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin, written by Jen Bryant, and it, it was illustrated by Melissa Sweet. The publisher was Alfred A. Knopf, Knopf. it was copyrighted in 2013. It's a non-fiction non book, and it's also a um, biography. There's 41 pages in it, and I'd say it's for about five to eight-year-olds. So the summary of the story is about an artist named Horace Pippin. And um, basically it starts out as when he was a baby, and it ends when he was in his 50s. So um, it, it told about Horace's talent of drawing and um, painting. Um, and uh, so it begins with a bunch of random... Um, times in Horace's life where he was told by a lot of people, Horace, draw me a, uh, make a picture for us, or etc. So as he grew up, um, he enjoyed drawing, and um, he did a contest, and he actually won it. So he won colored pencils and paint and paper and stuff like that. And so he began to start painting. Well, then he started growing up, and he um, went into the army, and... Uh, was always writing and drawing um, during battle, but he ended up getting wounded in his painting shoulder and he was no longer able to paint with that hand. So when, when he got back to um, America, he met a wife and he didn't continue or try to figure out a way to um, draw or paint. He kind of put it aside for a little bit until he discovered that he can hold his paintbrush or pencil or whatever he's using it with one hand and hold that hand with his left hand and he could control his hand in that way. So um, he was able to paint again. In all of Horace's life, people enjoyed his paintings, but not enough for him to become an actual artist um, until the president of a local art club discovered his paintings and he made Horace's dreams a reality by opening up his own art exhibit with only Horace's um, art um, paintings. And then, so finally Horace discovered um, and reached his dream of becoming an artist. So the theme of the story is perseverance. Um, as far as the reflective personal response, the main purpose of sharing this book with children is to teach them about real peer people in American history. Um, and although Horace wasn't um, like a hero or anything to most people, um, it was still a good story about him. Um, you know, it, this story could be important to people who are is their true talent and they really enjoy um, like um, painting and drawings and stuff. So I think this book would be really interesting for children who love art and it'd be a good way for them to connect to that and, you know, hopefully inspire them to, um, try to, um, live out their dream. Um, every child could go without reading this book if they wanted, but they'd miss out on such a strong example of perseverance. Horse overcame a very big obstacle in his life, which was injury to his dominant hand and it affected his dreams, but he persevered through it and came out on the winning side. So it's a good book for children to read. And also I forgot to include what these illustrations are like. Um, the illustrator did a great job of um, depicting what Horace's pictures looked like. And um, I, I just think the illustrations add a lot of artistic um, views to this book, which is always interesting to children. So for this book, I think I would want to do a fun activity, which I would have the kids try to paint a picture of whatever they wanted with their non-dominant hand. Um, so say they're right-handed, they're going to act like their right hand doesn't work and they'd have to hold their left hand and paint something. So, and then we discuss um, how good or bad their paintings were. And probably most of them wouldn't be very good paintings. But, um, so we discussed how talented Horse truly must have been to be able to paint amazing pictures without his dominant hand in control. So thanks for listening.